So I and Elo, this is again Alan the Forex Algo Trader. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to display uh, time elapsed or uh, time remaining for a particular bar or uh, a particular candlestick that uh, is a uh, uh, just like time counter for a uh, for a candlestick in this case that is uh, remaining for uh, a candlestick to end in this uh, particular format before another candlestick is is uh, formed or uh, starts to be created or formed in this uh, in this uh, case and i'm going to show you this uh, in two ways as you can see already i'm running it again or uh, on my strategy tester as you can see i have two comments over here which display the current bus and time in this uh, case in this uh, instance so i'm running it on a four hour chart and whenever the bus reset we count it we reset there we start counting the remaining time on the as you can see here the bus remaining time on these uh, comments that you can see here on the upper left corner of the chart in this uh, case so let us get into it then in this uh, case and show you how easy this one is in this uh, particular uh, instance of uh, here. So the first thing that you need to do is to open MetaCode's language editor and to do this one, just like need to click on there to click on the IDE icon over there, which will open Meta Editor for you, the MQL5 uh, MetaQuotes language 5 editor in this uh, case simply put so just I will just base my uh, expert advisor file on the algo trading folder then click on new then expert advisor from template it is always pre-checked then click on next and then provide in the name so maybe you can say uh, time time or a bar 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 time elapsed elapsed or uh, simply or uh, or uh, remaining in this uh, case or uh, remaining in this uh, elapsed or uh, remaining in this uh, case something like this one then click on next then next and then again finally finish in this uh, case so this is uh, again real and super quick and easy so i'll just show you in a very uh, small limited amount of time in this particular instance so the first thing that you need to do over here is uh, the first method is uh, like maybe i can just maybe like base this one on the on tick function so maybe i can get read of uh, i would like to arrange my code in a more presentable way in that case so in that structure so my code is now uh, looking more sexy so i can be able to like uh, monitor uh, things in this uh, case so the first in this uh, case the first method is a call is a call uh, of time of a time uh, without parameters parameters in this uh, case and this is like real quick and easy so maybe you can have like date time date time create a variable maybe the starting start time in this uh, case so start time in this format then we can to get the starting time or the current time in this uh, case for a particular uh, bar in this uh, in this uh, instance you use you need to use the i time function which basically as two variables the symbol and then the current time in this uh, case and then you need to provide the shift for the current bar that you need to do in this uh, case so provide shift number zero in this uh, instance so what this basically does if you were to just go back is that uh, maybe i can have this one okay sorry about that one so maybe i can just have this instance over here and whenever i over or uh, take my cross hand over a particular candlestick in this uh, case you can see this time that is displayed on this uh, data window over there so the bus time is displayed in that particular window and whenever i change it like this is now on a four hour time frame so that is now uh, zero zero and then whenever i move to the next bar we add four four hours in this uh, case so whenever i move to the next buff plus four hours you get eight hours then yeah onwards and on forth in that case so that is now simply put the bus time in this uh, case so how do we retrieve this bar is this uh, bus time is using this uh, this uh, defined variable that i have done in here using the i time the, then basically the shift is uh, the current bus time in this uh, case so shift number zero is for the current bar then one is for the bar 
before the current bar then two is for the like like if I to just go like uh, this one then go to the is this the current chart I don't know let us maybe take this is now like now the current uh, bar this is now shift number zero uh, this is now shift number one or index number one two three four five and what's and on fourth in that particular manner in this uh, case so right now we retrieve that bus uh, uh, data and then we need to like uh, get the step in this uh, case to get to the to the end in this uh, case like date time to get the bus ending time in this uh, case maybe end time in this uh, case we need to have like now the starting time the okay this is no start the start so this is no start time in this case then add the 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 bus period in this uh, case so to get the bus period we need to like get the the step time is what i will call it no the step time in this uh, case is equals to is equals to like now we need to get to we need to like add this bus period in this uh, case so we can do this one by getting the period current however we need to convert this period current to number of seconds so we can do this one by calling the period the period seconds function which just re returns the integer uh, type in this uh, case so we can like right now get that period in this particular format in this uh, case so we can have we can then add this step time in this uh, particular case which means like uh, maybe i can just like print let me just print these uh, values so that you can see maybe you can see the start uh, time come on start time in this uh, case maybe i can have the bus start time start time in that case then again uh, i can have like now the step time the step time in seconds right now you can we can just like print this one maybe step time and then you can like maybe we can have something like uh, end time end time we can have it in end time over here so that you can see like clearly what we are doing so right now i can compile that one then go back and then on the strategy tester we can have a we can have a, in the algo trading folder we can have the bus elapsed time in this case so we can like now click on start and then you can get like uh on on the each and every do, do we run it on the each and every tick or each and every on the or on the on in each section <laughs> so like right now you can get the like uh, the current bus time which is now the start time in this uh, case was now 20.00 in this uh, case so like right now the 20.00 is on this current bus time and then the step time is there four hours in this case which is now like four hours then multiply four hours times uh, 60 minutes then times 60 should give you approximately four uh, 40 40 and uh, okay the, the easiest thing to like monitor this one out i think it should give you let me just have one hour well, we just like basically convert uh, 60 times 60 so we expect something like uh, one hour times 60 60 minutes so 60 minutes times uh, 60 seconds we should get this 3600 actually in this uh, case as our step time and you can see here it is exactly what we get so we can have or uh, we can get like a uh, so from bar number 23 we then the end time plus 3600 uh, seconds in this uh, case to the current uh, time to the current bus starting time we get a uh, zero zero in this uh, case uh, instantly like uh, that one so i think we are running this one on the on in its section yeah so we should not be running this on the on in its section i just like want to run this one on the on tick section like uh, that one so right now you can get the end time and there on each and every uh, bar i think you get the logic over here in this uh, case so right now from uh, this uh, time we just like 
we can have like now the we can just like you just like have everything that you need uh, at this particular instance maybe we can have like a like a date time then computed uh, computed uh, end time the, like that, that is now like the that this is now like a, this is now like a, the bus ending time so to get the bus ending time in this uh, instance over here you can have the end time in this case then minus the current time in this particular instance so to get the current time in this case can have be date time then current current time in that particular instance which you can get using the time the time current time current function in that case so right now we need to negate the current time in this uh, case to get the you you need to like uh, get to get the remaining time you get you need to like uh, print the or get the end time minus the current time in this case where again the current time is the like the the current server's time in this uh, case in this particular format so right now what what does it say we need what does it say we need so semicolon is expected somewhere so we cannot have a negative there i need an underscore yeah something like uh, that one so right now we can like uh, we can like uh, comment this one you can just like go ahead and comment like uh, bar ends in this uh, case then providing the time which is not like uh, maybe you can have time time to string can convert the time to string in this uh, case then convert this one from computed time computed time in this uh, case where if you leave you can maybe like uh, leave this one in that format there is no any uh, problem in this uh, case so maybe you can comment this one out in that particular instance so maybe you can run it again on the strategy tester and the and on here you can see we have like wow we get like a 1970 <laughs> however the time is correct we do not want like 1970 1970 is not the correct time in this case so which means we have made like a uh, 1970 really <laughs> Why, why we should not be getting like something 1970 1970 why where is the 1970 coming from where 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 where, where? where where is like this 1970 coming from where 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 maybe maybe i can have the like uh, end time let me just have end time in this uh, case at first and see if the end time got 1970 no the end time just is completely fine the end time is completely fine time to strain time to strain the starting time i think the starting time let me have the current time then and see and see and see so everything is working out fine so it means we need to provide a boolean flag somewhere a boolean flag somewhere so we need to provide like a think time time in a time date time time seconds time seconds so let me start this one again. <laughs> what if I have time date over here? Let me check out the time date. Time seconds is working fine. So maybe let me have the time date in this uh, case as our Boolean flag and see if we get the 1970. Wow, well, we get the 1970 again. so like don't we need to convert this time to string in this 
specific time over here. Okay, let me just then get rid of it in this case. So this is unexpected. So let me just like print the computed time in this case and see. And see what difference does it make. Wow, there is no any difference. Where then, where then do we get this kind of... Uh, So the end time minus the current time. Mm -hmm. Okay, what if I just take this one? <laughs> we are like trying everything here. What if I like take that one and see? If we have the 1970, we like have the 1970. Why, why is that so? L let me check everything out that it is working fine. So end time, start time plus. However, the end time is not wrong. The end time is just correct. The end time is 2023, so which means it is correct. So where does the error come from then? In this uh, case, where does the error come from? So the current time also should give me or as the current time in this case. So like within the mathematical computation, I don't like really understand. However, let us like uh, basically move on like go on maybe like we will uh, find the error afterwards in this uh, case so we need something over here we, we still get that uh, i don't know <laughs> where the subtraction comes from or are we doing it the opposite to get the the bar ends, we just need to subtract the the time end, which is now the end of that bar minus the time current in this uh, case. So it should be working completely fine in this uh, case. However, let us just like uh, continue in this uh, case. So maybe we can have like a uh, maybe to get rid of this error we can maybe like uh, the 1970 seems to stick in this uh, case maybe we can have time seconds in this uh, case where we just like display time with hours minutes and seconds uh, respectively in this uh, case and uh, if you check out this one it is uh, like uh, oh no It is not working fine. Okay, we need the is that is that so we need the time seconds inside over yeah time seconds so we need to get rid of this one and then do the mathematical computation again. So this should work fine. So just like display there the time. Uh, in seconds, hours, seconds, and minutes in this uh, case, just as you can see over here. So just like display the remaining time in hours, minutes, and seconds uh, respectively, like uh, that one in this uh, case. And whenever the bar ends, you just like reset and then we start off uh, counting again in that particular format in this uh, case. So right now, that is now the first way that you can display that particular time in this uh, case. So the next... Uh, the next uh, method that you can use is to call uh, call uh, the the time the time current in this uh, case with the MQL uh, date date time structure date time structure in this uh, okay structure okay structure 
structure in this instance like uh, that one so to do this one you just like have the you can just like have a uh, integer our like basically what i mean like uh, this one is you use the mql date structure function in this uh, case then you need to have like the convert this to time structure which you can have time and seconds and you can separate everything in this uh, case so something like uh, this one you need to have the, the normal way you can have like a time the time uh, current in this uh, case then con have the time current in time structure something like uh, this one and then you can have like this time time structure dot dot hour dot hour in this uh, case maybe you can print this this hour in this uh, case maybe you can print okay let us have uh, i want to show you maybe you can print uh, this time dot hour in this uh, case to the maybe you can even let me just like comment this one so since we cannot have two comments i can, I can just comment this one out in that particular format then again i can have something like uh, this one for the current minute in this uh, case we can have like time uh, structure dot minute in this format like uh, that one so if i compile this one and then run it on the strategy tester the current time we get the current uh, times uh, hour then minutes and then you can get the current times uh, second in this uh, case accounting like uh, that one and then you can also get the the date the year the yeah bra 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 in that uh, case so you get it in separated form actually can maybe have like a uh, time We can have something like maybe you can also print the time uh, structure dot uh, day day of week maybe year let me just like print the year in this uh, case so if we print the year in this uh, format you can see it is like separated in this uh, case so you can see we have like uh, the hour the minute and then the year in this uh, case like uh, that one so we can just like uh, print them in this uh, case however this is not like the the way of doing it so right now we don't need the time current maybe i can just like again uh, go ahead and comment this one out so right now what we need is to have a, a, a function where we store our our hour from this computed time in this uh, case so we can have our our uh, maybe integer integer hour can initialize it to zero then we can have like a minute in this uh, case initialize it to zero and then again we can have second in this case then initialize it to zero in that particular uh, format in this uh, case then again you can have like a, we can have like a, like a what like a what maybe the time right now you saw me do like a this was not the time current if you want to get like the maybe i can have a variable over here like the computed end time but maybe have it in one then we want to like separate the time the time uh, values in this case we want to like send them to this mql date time structure over here as you can see you need to like to like use the time to structure in this uh, case time to structure in this case since we want to convert this time to structure in this particular format like uh, that one in this uh, case so this is not like directly opposite from a uh, if you add time in the in the in a string format maybe you have something like a, maybe you have a time maybe you have maybe you can have like a date time maybe string maybe string time string is equals to maybe you have like a 20 maybe, maybe let us have like a 20 20 dot maybe 20 20 uh, time is in this format maybe let us say six in the in this case so zero six uh, six hours and uh, maybe that five minutes and then maybe 
10 seconds in this uh, case like uh, that one so if you want to like convert this uh, string format to time in this uh, case you need like to use this mql structure in this uh, case and then you can have like a like a like a structure 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 to to time in this uh, case which just like converts like this structure that you have in this particular instance over there to time in this particular uh, instance so you can have time time uh, string time string time string time string time string mm -hmm. is that the correct way of doing this is that the correct way maybe you can have something like uh, want to convert it you can have like a like a time time structure dot 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 uh, hour in this uh, case since the starting position over here is now hour maybe you can have let us start with the seconds in this uh, case let us move from this side to this other side so dot second is equals to maybe uh, this this will just be like confusing too much in this uh, case uh, what can we have let me have something like uh, this one so string or maybe let me fill these structures of mine with the uh, with that time in this uh, case so structure dot second is equals to second that i have over there and then time time structure dot minute minute in this case is equals to minute fill the value there with the minute then time structure okay not that one time uh, structure dot hour in this uh, case is equals to hour in this particular point again so we can have like now we need to like uh, have time structure the uh, structure to time in this case then providing like now the the time the time structure in this case so right now we can maybe like go ahead and comment uh, comment our hour our hour in this case maybe you can have our in this particular format in this uh, case so let me compile this one to check if i did everything as it should be So right now we have our hour is never converted. Our hour is not converted. So maybe what what what? Okay, we need to like print a thing computed end time one. Let me check these on out. If that is all that we need to print. Okay, we get wrong time <laughs> in this uh, instance over here. We don't want, we don't get like uh, anything in this uh, case. We get wrong time. So what is the most basic way of doing this one? Do I like have 10? Uh, 10 and then again 10 in this case let me check let me check this one out so we have like time do we print the time structure okay objects can only be passed by that one so what what do we need like yeah do we need this computed and time one let me check it out however i don't think we compute it in this uh, case again we get wrong time in this uh, instance over here maybe we can have this on uh, another uh, lesson so right now in this uh, case i can just like want to go uh, maybe i can just like go ahead and have, have uh, explain what is most basic to us right now Okay, we need to like convert the time structure. Time structure 
in that uh, format to the computed to the computed to the this computed time in this uh, case over there to time structure in this uh, case the mql uh, date time in this uh, case structure so we need to convert it to time the structure that we have over here in this uh, case so that is no time time structure in that particular format uh, instantly so right now after here we can store our hour our hour function in this uh, case we can have is equals to time time structure dot hour we can store the variables in this uh, case then minutes in this case is equals to time uh, structure dot uh, minute particularly then the second in this uh, instance is equals to again uh, time structure dot second in that instance like uh, that one so right now which means that we can like go ahead and provide in the hour maybe we can comment we can comment the hour in this uh, case we can comment the hour we can have something like uh, hour in this particular format then we can have the the what 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 maybe i can have h for hour there then again we can have something like a like a minute we can print now the minute which we can have in this format uh, minute then again you can print the second in this case then you can have the second variable or value in that case so right now if i compile this one and run well not yet we missed something somewhere what 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 undeclared identifier computed and time one no it should be okay not one in this case but just time in that format so compile then let me run it and check out this uh, case in this uh, format so right now you can see we have like uh, we have like uh, we just like convert these times uh, all all that we do is that we convert the time in this uh, format we convert the time to structure that we have created in this uh, case over here specifically so maybe i can just like go ahead in this uh, case let, let me just like display the two times in this uh, case so I can just like copy this one. Was that the correct one? Yeah, I think. So I can just like uh, comment these two values over here. So I can have something like then like uh, that one. And then on a new line, I can have uh, on a new line. So backslash then n on a new line. I can have this this bar ends again. So bar ends in that particular format. Maybe some operator is expected here a comma. So maybe if I start this one. You can see right now that we have the correct time. The only difference in this uh, case is that uh, is that uh, what we have displayed this in string format. Then we have converted the string values in this case into time and date structure where we can separate the time, hour, the day of the week, the month, the year, the second, the minute, the yeah, that we can separate that in a structure. Then we can like print them separately in this uh, case. We can print the integer variables in that uh, format. So right now you can see maybe maybe I can run it on a maybe i can run it i can run it on a, maybe a four hour or a, a daily chart in this uh, case so which means we will start the counter maybe uh, four hours uh, below in this uh, case in this uh, format so right now you can see the our ea is just working as as a uh, super fine so maybe i can run it on a daily chart which means we will start on a uh, 24 hours a uh, 
uh, downwards. So 0, 0 then start the, the counter in this uh, case. So we start running the EA uh, 24 hours then backwards in that particular uh, time in this particular instance like uh, that one. So right now you can see we have it in uh, working like uh, in correct format and you can see the time here they just like they are a perfect match in this uh, case so that is now everything that uh, you need to create this uh, time counter you can see it is just like uh, basically nothing uh, just a few lines of code then you are able to create this uh, time counter or uh, elapsed time uh, counter and you can display it in this uh, particular instance uh, over here so that is all uh, that you need to do this one and uh, yeah bye bye and uh, till we see each other on the next uh, video lesson so bye bye